Hey guys, what's going on? This is Trey Mathis here from WhyForEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's a beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. Super excited to catch you guys up with what's been going on. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your very first time checking us out, if this is on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, make sure you subscribe to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit and make money online. Really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys what's been going on here in the last uh, 24 hours or so. Uh, really been working hard on, again, putting in place some of the disciplines in order to get that organic, viral, traffic uh, to the blog over at wifi-entrepreneur.com. In doing so, I've of course been continuing on with writing articles on a daily basis. Uh, the goal is to get to 400 articles posted up on the blog. And the belief is that with 400 articles, Google will have so much content to index, they're gonna one, realize and recognize that you're an actual true blogger. You're providing content to the web, so therefore, Google will reward you with traffic because they know that you know you have content that's available, and so so that's really been a big focus. That's taken a lot of energy and time, etc. Still working on doing the videos like this, but I wanted to catch you guys up with something that I found to to be relevant to my current situation with posting the blogs on a daily basis. One of the things that I I've gotten a good system about doing is posting the actual blog, you know, getting the blog written, make sure that it's of relevance to what you guys are interested in, what you're searching for on Google, so that I can show up in the search engine optimization as someone who is an authority on the subjects of making money online, which is what this brand is about. And I do very well in that process, but in the timeline and, and what I'm trying to do with 10X, if you guys are familiar with Grant Cardone, I'm trying to take what normally someone with patience would be you know take about four or five years to accomplish i'm trying to condense that down into like a two-year time frame and with that taking i wouldn't necessarily call them shortcuts but ensuring that i have a team that are able to support me so i can offer myself to multiple avenues that are necessary in order to have success but at the same time one of the things that i've noticed that i haven't necessarily been able to outsource or to uh, get someone else to do is uh, another very important part that I want to talk with you guys about which is adding images to the blog post videos like this these are great I would love to start to shoot more videos that I can actually attach into the blogs blog uh, videos that are specifically in the discussion with the blog that's something that I did earlier I would uh, share with you guys you know maybe an overview of what the blog that I just written about was about in video format and then post it with the video. I may start doing some more of that. I really enjoy the day-to-day -day journaling aspect of it, coming here and just catching you guys up with what's been going on. So it's kind of two separate conversations when you uh, look at it that way. So I need to see how I can go about maybe doing that where I can continue to shoot videos for the blog and also shoot day-to-day -day journaling videos as well. But let me tell you guys what I want to talk about which is the, the piece that I've been missing uh, in that whole process, and that is images. Uh, images are very important to your blog. You want to ensure that you are adding images inside of any of the blog write-ups that you're doing. Why? Because a lot of people look at pictures. One, uh, you're on the internet, uh, if someone found your page, your blog, from Instagram, you already know they have an affinity for blog, uh, for images, because it's on Instagram, however, uh, you then take them over to your blog and your blog has no images, so it's nothing but text. You don't really know how that's going to necessarily translate to the reader or the viewer. Uh, you may find that when they get over there, they don't see any Im images. They say, hey, I want more pictures, and they just leave and go back to Instagram. And then now you have inside of Google this bounce rate that shows that people came to your blog, but they left right away. Well, the images, as well as the videos, but the images help stick that individual to your blog to your content so someone comes over to your blog they now see a couple images they're scrolling you know normally when you go to a, a new web page you're scrolling through it just to see 
how much information is there for you to actually have to retain and be working like oh how long is this going to be how, how much how much do i have to read about this subject in order to get what i want out of it uh, well, the images have a way of breaking up the content, it makes it easier, it makes it more enjoyable to scroll. That then in turn makes the person feel more comfortable and know that it's going to be breaks alone in the content. So then they can go back there and begin to read, read your content, get to the, the, the image that draws them to make them want to stick around for the next section of the content. But well, what I've been doing is posting the, the blog up, boom, soon the blog's ready, post it up, let's get to the next blog, post it up, get to the next one. Well, you also want to make sure that you go in and you add those images. You want to make sure that you're creating a comfortable place for your viewer. And now that you understand that having video like this that talks about the blog that the person is going to read or having images uh, in that blog to break it up uh, is going to help your viewer enjoy your blog a lot more. So uh, what I've been doing and what I've been putting a lot of focus on is adding images to the blogs that we have posted up at wifientrepreneur.com. I'm going to continue to work on that in conjunction to the other things that we are already working on, but I want to encourage you to consider this when you move forward with putting together your content to ensure that you're adding images, of course. Make sure that you're adding great relevant content on a consistent basis, but also consider, you know, adding maybe in some video to help uh, keep that person more engaged with your content. So these are some of the things that I've been thinking about working on and doing some of the things that you may want to consider as well when you begin to roll out your content. So I'm going to leave it there for now. If you know anyone who's interested in turning their passion and profit and make money online, I encourage you to tell them about our online community. We have over a million uh, online entrepreneurs. It's completely free to join. It's where I got started. It's where I got the idea of why creating the Wi-Fi Entrepreneur brand. It's where I, I get my blog. My first blog was ever um, was created through this. Uh, absolutely free. I know it's, you get a lot of people talk about this and that and the third that can help you make money online. Uh, I encourage you to check out our online community and a free uh, online entrepreneur course that we have available. I truly believe that it's different than most, no matter what passion, no matter what niche, no matter what you're interested in, I believe the content that's inside of our community, inside of our training, can help anyone to succeed online. So please go ahead and check it out. Uh, I'll link information below. You can go to our blog, check out more information there as well. But if you know anyone who's interested in turning a passion and profit and make money online, please tell them about wifientrepreneur.com. Until we talk again, I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. Take care and be blessed. Peace.